Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Perkins and welcome to my beginning Symphony 2 web development course for Tuts Plus. Throughout this course, I'll walk you through step by step learning how to begin developing web applications using this awesome framework. Now we'll be learning all sorts of common Symphony 2 web development techniques such as using Composer for installation and using the built-in Symphony console for generating bundles, getter and setter methods, as well as how to have Symphony 2 manage your database for you by creating both the database and tables right from the console. So we're going to start with the very basics of installation, configuration, and then we'll move on to a quick start fashion tutorial to introduce you to a lot of the Symphony 2 functionality by building a simple Hello World app as a teaser for what's to come later on in the course. Now the main focus of the course will be building a small book manager application in which we'll learn how to create controllers, we'll learn how to set up routing, we'll be working with entities and linking our entities to Doctrine, which is the ORM that we'll be using for managing our database, and we'll also be learning about entity data validation using Symphony 2 constraints. We'll learn how to create reusable forms by building our own custom form type class. And we'll also learn a couple of different ways to build and display forms, how to redirect, how to set flash messages, work with base layouts and template files. And by the time we finish, we'll have built an entire CRUD application. So I hope you're ready to begin learning how to build web apps using the Symphony 2 framework. Next time on Beginning Symphony 2 Web Development, we're going to cover installing and configuring the Symphony 2 framework. We'll also review the framework's directory structure to get an idea for how our app's going to be laid out. And then lastly, we'll start up the server to test that our newly installed app works. So I'll see you there, and thanks for watching.